Are you in metformin for diabetes or PCOS? In this video, I'll go through six scenarios where your doctor has to stop metformin. Coming up. Let's look at the most common diabetes complications. Some of these complications caused by diabetes may make your doctor stop metformin. So please make sure your blood sugars are being well monitored and you're taking control of your blood sugars. It's not my body or your doctor's body, it is your body. Please take care of it. Diabetes is sometimes called silent disease because you don't feel it. But unfortunately, it can affect so many organs in your body. You're twice as likely to have stroke or, heart, or a heart attack. And one of the reasons is because diabetes can raise your triglycerides, a type of fat, as well as your bad cholesterol called LDL and decrease your good cholesterol called HDL. You're an increased risk for eye problems and even blindness. The vessels in your eye, in particular your retina, can get damaged. This is called diabetic retinopathy and you'll have to follow up regularly with your eye doctor. Your eye lens can also get cloudy, also known as cataracts. You're also at an increased risk for glaucoma, where the eye pressure in your eye increases. Diabetes causes your blood sugars to go up, and this can damage your kidneys, especially if you're older and you're at an increased risk as the kidney function worsens with age. This type of chronic kidney disease caused by diabetes can lead to kidney failure. Very bad kidney disease, and we doctors refer to this as stage five kidney disease, might require dialysis to filter your blood. Your nerves can get also damaged. You might be experiencing numbness or tingling or even pain, especially in your hands or feet. This is called diabetic neuropathy. Damage to the vessels, especially in your feet, can lead to circulation problems with an increased risk for pain, difficulty walking, infection, and in very severe cases, amputations of your digits and limbs. Another complication can be gum disease, leading to increased risk of infection. The increased amount of sugar in your saliva can be helpful for bacteria to grow in your mouth. There's a higher risk for tooth plaque, carriers, and tooth loss. Other complications to think about are an increased risk for depression as the disease progresses and with advancing disease because of damage to the nerves and reduced blood flow to the vessels, you have bladder problems such as bladder incontinence and sexual problems such as erectile dysfunction. And if you're finding value in this video, like, comment and share. Hit that notification bell and hit that subscription button as well. Going back to the first question of this video, I'm going to list six conditions or scenarios where your doctor will have to stop giving you metformin. All the following conditions can predispose you to a condition called lactic acidosis when there's too much acid in your body. If your kidney function becomes worse, the doctor will stop giving you metformin. He or she will look at a value called GFR, glomerular filtration rate. If that value is less than 30, metformin will be discontinued. I typically use a higher value as I also see a lot of elderly patients and I stop it at a higher value, a GFR of 45 or below. Between 30 and 45, between 30 and 45 some doctors reduce the dose of metformin by half but not more than 1000 milligrams per day. If you're interested in other side effects of metformin, hit that link above. And if you're abusing alcohol, your doctor will stop metformin, so stay away from drinking too much alcohol. If you have progressive liver disease or liver cirrhosis, metformin will be stopped. However, fatty liver disease is not seen as a contraindication unless your liver disease progresses. Now, the question about using metformin and heart failure, also called congestive heart failure, becomes quite tricky. If your heart failure is well managed and stable, you do not have to stop the drug. However, in situations of acute heart failure or unstable heart failure, you'll have to stop metformin. And if in the past you've had a history of lactic acidosis when there was too much acid in your blood, you would know 
and you cannot use metformin. Other situations your doctor can't use metformin are situations where there is a decreased blood flow to your tissues such as sepsis or prolonged low blood pressure and hemodynamic instability. That means just your blood pressure and circulation is unstable. These kinds of patients are quite sick and are in the ICU, intensive care unit. Did you know that metformin can cause B12 deficiency? Click on the link above to find out more. Question of the day, are you on metformin and do you know what your GFR is? And if you're interested in more videos, especially on metformin and diabetes, click right here or click right here or click right here or click right here. Think your health and have a good day. Next take. Hey, have a good day. Good thing I'm inside because last time it was so cold and hit that scripts. <laughs> I can't say that.